Okay. By now we should be just about done, if not done, sanding our piece. In my case, again, I have a 10-inch circular saw blade. I have quite a few blemishes that I needed to remove from the surface side that I'm painting on, which in this case will be the back side of the blade. If you can see here when I turn it over, all the original writing and whatnot is still on the back side. I did not sand down that side very much, although I do see a few spots that I could touch up just to make sure they don't run through onto the other side. I don't think that'll be a problem, but just in case. One other pointer is that also between the teeth here on top and down into the grooves, you'll need to sand those out too. Um, the Rust-Oleum will probably cover that, which is the treating agent that we'll be using to spray this with. But you want to, anyway, get the rest of the rust out of the grooves. Flipping back over to the other side now, the main thing I wanted to show you here is that um, after sanding, there is a lot of dust and whatnot left on the surface of the blade. What I'm going to do here is just simply um, wipe it off. What I have to do this with is a damp washcloth, very damp washcloth, and a dry paper towel. Actually, the cloth that I'm using is paper towel as well, but make sure it's damp. So all we're going to do is just get the sanding grit off of the painting side of this. And what I'm going to do is just kind of go in a circular motion. And as you can see, all the dust is being removed from my surface and it's starting to become a little bit shiny again from the lighting. As you can see here from my moist towel, there's a lot of dust that was collected from that side. So I'm just going to flip this on over here to a clean side and just continue to wipe down my surface. Oops, lost a little piece there. Just be careful for your fingers that you don't get them cut on the teeth, of course. This is not one of the safest painting projects I've ever done, but it does the trick. Okay, still quite a bit more dust and dirt left on after I folded the towel. So I'm going to fold it again one more time and see how much more I can get off and then follow it with a dry cloth. Just a little bit of remnants now, so I'm going to set that aside and take my dry cloth here and I'm going to go ahead and wipe and dry. Not that the surface was wet because again you're using a very damp paper towel. But I'm just going to finish it off here, make sure that anything that got stuck on the teeth while I was wiping is now off. And there you have it your clean circular saw blade which will now go through the process of the next step. We will be taking this and running it through a process of rust-oleum layer. Uh, if you're in an apartment like me which is small and not very ventilated you'll want to find a place like a basement or even outside on a nice day where you can take this with a paper bag or a newspaper under it and spray paint with Rust-Oleum the top side or the side that you're going to paint on. So thank you for watching and for being patient with me on my very first YouTube episode. Uh, please like and share my page and I hope you continue to tune in to see the process and completion of this project. Thank you and have a good day.